Hello everybody, it's Roseanne. Welcome back to my channel and I am finally home for winter break from school and that means there is no more dining hall which means I have to make all of my own food and let me tell you, I have gotten pretty lazy. So I figured that I would put together a few easy meals to share with you guys if you are in the same boat as I am or if you're just looking for some fun, you know, meals to make at home with your family or just by yourself because you can because you are strong independent people guys if you have not already make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and let's get cooking <laughs> For this first recipe, we will be making peanut butter banana oatmeal, which is my absolute favorite thing to eat for breakfast, and it's so delicious, it's so good for you. For this recipe, all you're going to need are quick oats. I just have the generic store brand here. I use coconut beverage from Trader Joe's, but you can just use milk or water if you want. Then, obviously, we're gonna need some bananas. You only need one, but if you want it to be more banana-y, you can use more. I have Skippy Natural Peanut Butter, and then I also use cinnamon. I started out by peeling my banana and then slicing it into little banana chips and I'm just placing half of that in a bowl and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fork and I'm just going to mash it up so it's a paste. I kind of think it looks like baby food but that'll just make it easier to mix in with the oats and the peanut butter later on in the process. Next up I'm just adding a half a cup of oats. Half a cup is generally the serving size for oats but you can add as many or as little oats as you want. We all need different amounts to fuel our bodies. Then I'm just throwing in some cinnamon for some extra flavor and then my Trader Joe's coconut beverage. Make sure you remember that some of the liquid is going to evaporate off in the microwave so add a little bit more than you think you're gonna need. But then I just stirred that up and then I'm grabbing my Skippy Natural peanut butter and I'm just gonna spoon some into the bowl and mix it all together. Now I just took my bowl and I threw it in the microwave for a minute and a half. This is gonna help soften up the peanut butter and the oats are going to absorb all of that flavor for a delicious breakfast. Stir it up once again after it comes out of the microwave and then just take the other half of the banana, slice it up and I'm just placing it on top of my oatmeal so it looks like this cute little fruit decorated bowl. And that is that, and I hope you guys enjoy this breakfast. This loaded cottage cheese toast is a protein packed, veggie filled breakfast. All you're gonna need is bread. I like to use rye bread, and that's also just what we had in the house, but you can use whatever you want. Obviously, we're gonna need some cottage cheese. If you don't like cottage cheese, you can swap it out for cream cheese or anything else that you might like. And then I didn't have any spinach or anything like that, so I'm just gonna use some spring mix salad greens and a tomato just to garnish off the top with. What I did first was just pop my rye bread into the toaster oven. Do you guys like using traditional toasters or toaster ovens more? Let me know down in the comments. I personally like a toaster oven. But next up, all I did was slice up my tomato. I only needed a few slices because my piece of bread wasn't that big. Fun fact, this tomato is viviparous, which means its seeds were sprouting on the inside of the tomato and that's not really supposed to happen. And I thought that was super cool. So here are some tomato sprouts on the inside of the tomato. All I did next was take my rye bread out of the toaster oven and I just forked, <laughs> forked some cottage cheese on top of that in a nice even layer. I personally like a lot of cottage cheese, but you guys can put as much or as little on as you want. Next up, I grabbed my salad greens and I put a few on top. And then after that, I grabbed my tomatoes and I just put a few slices right on top of my salad greens. This is personal preference, but I also chose to drizzle a little bit of balsamic vinegar on top just because it's like a healthy, like open faced caprese salad, I guess, but it's super good. Totally recommend it if you like balsamic vinegar. And here is our final product. Of course this can't be a breakfast video without having avocado toast. <laughs> Obviously for that we are going to need some bread. I'm just using rye again which is what I used in the cottage cheese toast. Then I'm grabbing an avocado of course and I like to put hot sauce on mine. If you guys like sriracha or you don't like hot sauce like don't even worry about it. And then you're gonna need a seasoning. You can use salt, pepper but I'm using Trader Joe's umami. And then 
an egg because avocado toast is not complete without a fried egg. So again, I'm just starting off with putting my rye bread in the toaster oven just so it gets on nice and toasty. I have this fancy little avocado cutting tool. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna cut my avocado in half and I'm gonna scoop out the insides and put them in a bowl and I'm just gonna mash them all up. While I'm mashing my avocado, I'm just gonna sprinkle in a little bit of that umami and you guys can put it in salt and pepper or whatever you want, but I found that it's a more even flavor if you mix it right into the avocado. Then I'm going to start frying my egg, so I just sprayed it with some canola oil and I'm gonna crack an egg in there. Ooh, listen to the sound. That was satisfying, that was really satisfying. Then I'm just gonna take my toast and spread on some of my avocado mash while that egg is cooking. Then I'm gonna put some hot sauce right on top. More hot sauce, the better in my opinion, but you guys can do whatever you want with this. And then of course, we cannot forget about our egg. Do not forget about your egg, that would be really bad. Don't let your house on fire, please. And I'm just gonna put that fried egg right on top of my toast. hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already i had a really fun time making all the food for you guys and it was an excuse to just sit down and eat a whole lot of food during one sitting anyway like i said before make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me if you did and i love you guys so so, so much and goodbye